And they're off. Snow on the ground made for more fun than usual at the media and training day ahead of the Otago Rally, which accelerates into action this evening. Long-serving event coordinator Roger Oakley says this year sees a large number of entrants. Uh, the Otago Rally is uh, South Island's biggest rally motorsport event. Actually, for rallying, it's probably Australasia's biggest rally event. Uh, we've got 115 competitors from seven countries, 14 international competitors. Oakley says drivers will have to navigate some very tricky terrain. We'll be competing over the roads uh, from, gosh, Palmerston down to Lawrence, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, 280 kilometres of high-speed special stages. Each year, a well-known international driver is given a classic Ford Escort to throw around the countryside. This year, it's Norwegian WRC driver Mads Ostberg who admits the snowy conditions are a little challenging. Today when you wake up and it's snowy, I think all the drivers in the world uh, just going to work and you know it's, it's going to be a challenging uh, ride. So it's the same for us. Uh, it's difficult when it's snowing like this. It makes it really slippery and really difficult to control the car. So we need to slow down the speed quite a lot. And uh, obviously we don't have the right tires on the car. We would probably prefer to have some studded winter tires on these conditions. Osberg drives the latest Citroen in the World Rally competition. So is getting used to driving a 30 to 40 year old Escort. Yeah, it's, it's quite a big difference. Obviously the, this car is, uh, even though it's a specially built rally car, uh, it's, it's quite old. Uh, the, the, the car I normally drive is a Citroen uh, C3, so it's a brand new car, but the WRC specially built one with 400 horsepower electronical gearbox and differentials. and. Uh, and long uh, suspensions to, to cope with all the difficult conditions. So it's a, it's a completely different car. Uh, and uh, for me, quite a lot easier to drive. Uh, but okay, it's, uh, when you get to a rally, you have a closed road and you can go as fast as you want. The rally proper takes off from central Dunedin this evening. Before drivers begin to tear up nearly 300 kilometers of Otago back roads over the weekend. There are many spectator points around the stages with more information on the Otago Rally website. Darrell Baser, The South Today.